Hi, this is Angus at LabVac with a quick how-to on the diaphragm exchange on a Vacubrand diaphragm pump. Um, on this pump I've mounted it so that the shaft is vertical. Uh, on this particular type of pump it's a little bit easier to do if you get them that way round. Um, you can see I've undone the four bolts, removed the head and here's the damaged diaphragm. It's split right here. Uh, so this has got to come out. I've got a replacement that I'm going to put in in a moment. So the first thing to do is to take the diaphragm tool that comes from Vacubrand. Um, and this is used both to remove the old one and to fit the new one. What I need to do next is I need to actually release the diaphragm from the mounting where it is. And to do this I'm going to use a flat blade screwdriver. Um, this can be a little bit tricky, just be patient with it. You get the blade of the screwdriver down behind the edge of the diaphragm and you should be able to just pop it up like that. And once I've got that side of it, I'm going to hold on to it and then move the screwdriver around so I can release the other side. And then hold on to those two sides and bring the tool up so that it locates in behind those two sides of the diaphragm. Then you can look in from the side here and down here, you'll see it a bit more clearly in a moment, I can see that there are flats on the plate behind the diaphragm. I've just got to rotate the tool until it catches those two flats. Now it's nice and secure, I can go ahead and unscrew the whole assembly using that tool. And when it comes away, just lift the whole lot down. Take it downwards because on the back here, more often than not, you'll find there are one or two thin shims that are well and truly stuck here, but there it comes away. Uh, there's a couple of those shims on here and uh, they need to go back when you reassemble. So now you can see the, the flats and the way that the tool grips onto them and you can just pull the assembly back out of the tool. Like so. There we go. And then the backing plate and those shims will come away and the diaphragm peels off from the, the main holding plate. And then the new diaphragm, trying to keep everything clean, put it together. There's a square section in the centre, make sure that's securely located. Then add the backing plate, which again locks onto that square section, and then make sure that you replace all those shims that came out. And then folding up the sides just as the tool came out, you can locate that. And now at this point, this is why it's easier to have the, the pump in this orientation because now it's just a case of lifting the tool with the whole assembly up and screwing it into place. And once it starts to lock up you just want to turn that as tight as you can with one hand and that'll give you the right pressure. Pull the tool away. And that's a snug fit, ready to refit the head.